the newest encyclical of Pope Francis, Laudate Si, reminded me very much of an Augustinian approach to looking at our world. In the encyclical, Pope Francis speaks about the need when we look at our ecology that we cannot forget an anthropology and that one cannot simply view the world as being created without looking at the human person within that creation. It reminds me of an Augustinian anthropology that insists that this anthropology is built upon the four pillars, four basic pillars, that we are created in the image of God, that sin has entered the world and has infected us as creation. For that reason, we need that third pillar of grace, that free gift of God's very self to us as creatures. The fourth pillar is the redemption that we get from the salvific work of Jesus Christ. And if we're able, as humans, to recognize our Christian anthropology, our participation in creation, with those four pillars, then it allows us to view, as the Holy Father did in this encyclical, to view ecology with the lens of an anthropology, one that is healthy in viewing that our relationship with creation is reflected in the way that we are in relationship with each other as human beings and our relationship with God. Sometimes that can seem very simple. But it's those simple views in life that I believe St. Augustine gave us, gives us the ability to be able to continue look at our relationships that we have. When we do that, we see each other and we relate with each other as a person. As a person created by God. And not someone to be used, but someone to be enjoyed on our way of reaching God. And when we view each other like that, the encyclical reminds us we must also view the created world as that. Not something to be used for our personal use, our personal benefit, but for the enjoyment of the creation that it was meant to be for all of us.